प्रकाश इस वाले को शुरू करना सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द रोड मैप ऑफ डी एस ए ओके फॉर वेब डेवलपमेंट वट आर द थिंग दैट यू थिंक लाइक दिस दिस इज हाउ मच डी एस ए यू नीड टू नो to like that will add value to your web development journey okay okay so uh, as a beginner to get started uh, you need to have a very very good amount of knowledge of dsa now let's come to the topic of what all dsa you require because for front end if you want to become a front end developer dsa is not required at all right a lot of companies do not uh, take dsa around because in when when you are doing front end you are not actually using dsa at all but when you call yourself a back end developer or full stack developer you should know what dsa is right so for people who just want to come into web development without dsa you have to become a front end developer and then in the company you can learn dsa and all the things but if you want to go as a full stack developer learn dsa so with dsa the concepts remain the same right you have to understand what how strings work how you know objects work how list are working linked list are working what is stack and queue you know how basically uh, you are basically pushing and you know popping all the items you know understanding all of these things and understanding some pack algorithms as well which a lot of people memorize right now that depends on you but you want to memorize these algorithms or you basically want to have a good understanding of how these algorithms actually work under the hood so Uh, a good amount of dss is actually is required even if you go for uh, an entry level interview they will give you good in, good dss question uh, like uh, uh, dss medium level question not easy level question like you can find it on geeks for geeks or on different platforms as well so it is easy medium hard so a lot of companies will in the initial round give you medium level question they don't give you easy level question so don't do easy and then go for a dss round you won't you won't clear it to be very honest do medium level questions and then they'll also ask you one or two hard level questions as well but if you do all the medium questions with optimized solution then uh, it's a win win situation for you so that's how basically and how do you practice dsa is also very simple basically you take you know uh, 10 easy uh, let's say 20 easy questions uh, 10 medium questions and 5 hard questions so this is always the ratio a lot of people do the reverse but the reverse is not good you do 20 easy 10 medium and 5 hard questions and you sh- don't uh, try to cover uh, questions for one single topic but go on to different different topics as well don't just try don't just say to yourself i'll do all the problems of linked list that is not good a not good thing just do the 20 10 and 5 rule like 35 to 40 questions on every topic and then start applying for ds interviews because you will then get new questions also in the interview and you can have your own set of questions Great. So, uh, last but not the least, <laughs> uh, if we are talking about the roadmap to right. uh, 